Have there been some other things that you have come to question or you're questioning right now, maybe? Like, you might, like one example I can give you is as students, a lot of us question our major, for example. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. like, there are like these deep rooted societal beliefs or things that we're just expected to do. But it's only when you like start thinking about it and when you're in that position you start to question it so have there been things other things that you've come to question oh i i guess i have that same thing like you know what should i ultimately be going after and and how to do that right like i guess in, in terms of this question we're trying to figure out these philosophical questions at a larger scale and also to answer the specific question, you know, is there an afterlife? Um, you can attack it from so many different angles, right? You can study religion, um, math, philosophy, history. You could take a experiential approach and I guess travel the world and, and try to live like people that actively practice these religions. You could try to, um, like I guess go into AI, try to develop systems that can maybe assist us in analyzing documents and forming conclusions so currently yeah so it's, it's yeah so i guess i'm just debating on which of those paths i should go on and you know for career reasons also just i think i've been going more towards like cs um so i get yeah that's that's been on my mind i guess recently um career options which field to go in have you been able to come up with a goal um, i mean i guess I've, I've talked to you about this a bit like ultimately it would be nice if you know i had a lot of money or someone could i could get donations in certain somehow to create some sort of organization that pools experts from many different fields from uh, math philosophy physics psychology understanding how architecture of belief you know how, how people reason through things um and, and create this 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 group of people that are, are trying to answer these these questions um, I, I guess that that could be a goal have you thought about starting it right now with students no i i don't feel like i know enough I'm not even close but like this, wouldn't this be the perfect opportunity for that? If you think about it, I, uh, you're at a campus where you have these exact people all around you. I just think my my efforts would go further if I was more qualified. You know, maybe, maybe more people would would uh, join, and and I would be able to make better decisions if I'm have more knowledge of philosophy and stuff. Because you know, I. I wish I had read more, right? But I've read a little bit, <laughs> but as I said, a lot of time has been spent on video games. And so, um, but I've, I, I, like, I would first want to read and learn a lot more before I do this. But that'll be the point of the group though, right? Like you, you get to interact with these people who are more knowledgeable than you about these subjects and you get to learn from them. So let's say you bring in the aspect of, let's say computer science or more analytical thinking while someone else can bring in a more philosophical thinking to this. Someone can bring in an engineering perspective to all of this. And you have this group of people who can talk about religion or maybe an NFL game and just like, you can have all these different perspectives from all sides and engineering might focus more on, um, let's say the physics of how everything is working a, a person from maybe media might be focusing on the camera work that goes behind making a game like this. Someone in the fashion, someone who's a fashion student might think about all the jerseys that are being made, the fabric that might have been used. Some might think about the ethics or the implications of such big games, right? So like that just an, as an example of the kind of things you can just learn if you have a group of people who all come from different backgrounds and I don't think anyone needs to be needs to 
have that broad range of knowledge about all subjects as long as they can bring something to the table. And I think that's where the most effective learning happens. Like we were not qualified to start this talk show. Like if we would have waited to read books, watch like a thousand YouTube channels who do something like this, we would have never started this. Uh, we didn't know most of the people that have been on the show, for example, but as a consequence, we now know more about what they do because we had a chance to interact with them. I, I think I can make progress in either way, right? Like I could e either studying on my own or, or right. trying to start this immediately, I can make progress, but it's just a matter of which one is the best choice right now. And I don't know. I guess you make a good case, but I currently believe that it's just more efficient to gather a lot of information now, like knowledge on my own first. What do you think is an effective learning strategy for you personally? Do you learn better when you read or you watch or you talk? Uh, probably when I read because mm -hmm. I have time to just slowly um, try to wrap my mind around different ideas. I can always go back to something I read a couple of minutes ago. Um, so reading and I guess writing things or practice questions, things like that. Yeah. What's a book you're reading right now? <laughs> um, so right now it's just probably just math textbooks for class. Um, outside of that, the, the man who waits the What's man that? who knew infinity? Yeah, the man who knew infinity. Yeah. So, Ramanujan. Yeah. Interesting, interesting story. Have you, have you, I know you've read it, but have, have you read that as well? No, I have the book. I, yeah. I lend it to him, but I still need to read it. Yeah. Yeah. I got it from Granger one day. Um, they were giving out some and he books. never put it back. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they were giving out books. Oh, yeah. I didn't, didn't pick it up from the shelf and just keep it. Um, Ah, it's, it's a good find. Yeah, yeah, it's a good find.